Welcome back. I want to tell you about a recipe contest from DeFratelli. It is a company that produces fantastic tomato products for a lot of the recipes we use here. If you've got a great recipe that you want to share, you can possibly win $250 from their ripened recipe contest. We're going to show you a little bit about it. Uh, they're looking for flavorful, appealing, creative recipes using their products. Grand prize winner can win $250 in a g g Visa gift card. Five runner-ups will receive a product for a year, every month for a year. I, 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 year. I know, you I should know. win this. I have so many <laughs> <laughs> then five honorable mentions will get an assorted gift pack from DeFratelli. And I mean, if you have some creative ideas with tomato in it, this is the way to go. So while I'm doing this, Mary Helen is also finishing up her dish. I want to show you last year's second place winner. Um, it's a dessert, and I'm going to put it together as kind of fast as I can, but it's a really easy dish. It is called Baked Sweet and Sassy Tomato Dessert. What they use for this is actually three of the smaller cans, but I actually have the large can. Um, it's three 14 ounce, 14 and a half ounce cans, but we're going to just use one big one and half of another, but also with all of the juice, according to this recipe. And then there's apple in here, which we already put in there. And then everything else is really fast. We've got raisins, we've got pecans, we've got apricots, we've got cranberries. Look at this, I'm just going to town. Know, we've got to uh, light brown clear. sugar. <laughs> we've got, oh, I'm gonna have to move that a little bit, but uh, we've got cinnamon, we've got orange zest, We've got lemon zest. We've got oh, vanilla. You did, you did need this little guy earlier. I'm telling you. So you, got it, you know. And we've got a little Put ginger. Back. And that is it. That is, and, our, and cloves. Those are the spices. What we want to do real quick, though, before we move on to the rest of yours, this is all just going to be mixed up and put in the oven at 375, OK? I'm going to have this recipe on. People have been asking, what is this thing <laughs> forever? It's a lemon it's, juicer. It's personal. It's personal. <laughs> So this is not an alien life form that invaded it's our set. Really it's good. how you juice your lemon, your orange, whatever. So you put a little and bit of that. you can do it one-handed, really? You can do it one hand or you can invade All right. another planet. All right. All right, so I'm done with that. I'm gonna just stir this up and put it in a baking dish. 375 uh, for, uh, what do we say? I think it's about 30 minutes. That's it. You fit, put yours together. I'll we have two together. minutes, Miss. Okay, quick, quick, quick. We're gonna yes. just put a little time. I just love to just again use the hands. One of these. Look how pretty, 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 pretty this looks. And what we're gonna do then is put, put this in, in the, the pan. pan. Okay. Just put it in the bottom and mm -hmm. line your chicken up. Now, if you want to be decadent, I, I got caught. I had a little plugra, which is just, you know, butter on turbo. Um, you okay. know, it's like I, I eat a, one of those low-cal bagels, and I have okay. the butter Okay, okay, you're getting off track. You need to put off my this mind. together, okay. Mary Helen. Okay, okay. <laughs> we're going, we're going. Look at, look at, look at, look at okay. this. Okay, and then all of our beautiful red and yellow peppers yes. and carrots. And like I said, I made a lot because... Because you know we yes. always show up and want stuff. You're from right, you. and like I like to cut mine big because you know, like with kids, you can either cut them out, you can make things really small and you can hide them, or you can make them big and they can push them to the side. Or luckily, if my gang all devours them. So look at this parm. I'm just going to put it on here for now. Okay. A little fresh basil with my good scissors, which are always missing in action, thanks to my offspring, but we have them. And then we're going to put some white wine, and of course we'll have measurements on this. We're just going to pour it over the top. Okay. We're going to have a very happy Canadian chicken, eh? <laughs> a little drunk Canadian chicken. Drunk Canadian yummy. chicken, and then a little orange juice. Okay. And then this goes in the oven for how long? 350 for about 40 minutes. And we will have the complete recipe yeah. with ingredient mounts on fullplate.tv, including Chicken. also this uh, tomato dessert. Please take a look. We're also going to have the link for the ripened recipe contest from Dave Fratelli. Thank you, Mary Helen. Oh, thank you. And thank you, Wendy, for talking about our internet security. All these links again on fullplate.tv so you can get to them fast and easy and safe and delicious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely delicious. Awesome. See, everyone wishes that you would just leave this chicken.